the depth of the dreamy decline of the dawn through a notable nimbus of nebulous noonshine. Pallid and pink is the palm of the flag flower that flickers with fear the flies as they float. Are these looks of our lovers that lustrously lean from the marvel of mystic miraculous moonshine? These that we feel in the blood of our blushes that thicken and threaten with throbs through the throat? a theater thronged at appeal of an actor's appalled agitation. Fainter with fear of the fires of the future than pale with the promise of pride in the past. Flushed with the famishing fullness of fever that reddens with radiance of wraith recreation. Gaunt as the ghastliest of glimpses that gleam through the gloom of the gloaming when ghosts go aghast. In the nick of the tick of the time is a tremulous touch and the temples of terror. Strained as the sinews, it strains with the strife of the dead who is dumb in the dust heaps of death. Surely no soul is it. Sweet as the spasms of erotic emotion, exquisite air, bathed in the bombs of beatified bliss, beatific itself, in beatitude's breath. Surely no spirit or sense of a soul that was soft to the spirit and soul of our senses. Sweetens the stress of suspiring suspicion that sobs in the semblance and sound of a sigh. Only this oracle opens Olympian with mystical moods and triangular tenses. Life is the lust of a lamp for the light that is dark to the dawn of the day when we die. Mild is the murk and monotonous music of memory, melodious mute as it may be. By the hope in the heart of the hero is bruised by the breach of men's rapiers, resigned to the rod. Made meek as a mother whose bosom beats bound with the bliss bringing bulk of a bomb breathing baby as they grope through the graveyard of creeds under skies growing green to groan for the grimness of God. Blank is the book of his bounty, beholden of old, and its binding is blacker than bluer. Out of the blue into the black is the scheme of the skies, and their dews are the wine of the bloodshed of things. Till the darkling desire of delight shall be free as the fawn that is freed by the fangs that pursue her, till the heartbeats of hell shall be hushed by a hymn from the hunt that has harried the kennel of kings. <laughs> 